we start to talk about story and the power of story, you're going to get a whole flow this afternoon from different awesome speakers. And where I, where I want us to start is with the place of asking the right question about story. And I think that question is not if we should use story in business, but how do we use story in business? Because in fact, what it seems to be coming more and more clear is that story is meaning. That in fact, we are telling and hearing and making up stories in our head all the time. Your brain is already a treasure trove of storytelling ability. We tell stories when we're telling stories. We tell stories when we're listening to stories. We tell stories when we see a graph of the quarterly earnings. We tell a story when the clicker doesn't work and we make up a story about why that's happening. We tell a story when we're standing in line for food or when there's no toilet paper in the bathroom. It is the way our brain must do it. So the question is, in all of our brains, there's this little treasure trove of story because story is how we make sense of the world. What do we do in business? How do we take that gold, that treasure, and turn it into a tool that we can use in business? We know what these things are, right? You've already told me. We know a story has a beginning and middle and end. We know there's conflict. We know there's cause and effect. There are characters, antagonists, and protagonists, vivid images, metaphors. Did you have those in your stories as you told them just naturally? You know, I think that Again, this question of do I tell a story in business, sometimes we think, oh, I, it's not appropriate, or it's not professional, or it's not serious. Well, let's look at Aristotle's three levels of argument. Is that serious enough for you? Yeah. OK, excellent. So what are they? Anybody know? Yeah! Woohoo! Very nice. Give that girl a burrito. Okay. So logos is actually very popular at business and we're very comfortable with it, right? Logos means it has a logic or a rational thought. We have like what is the cause and effect of the argument? Well, guess what? Story's great for logos. When we work with organizations, we use storytelling techniques a lot to talk about what's the vision, what's the current state, and how are we gonna actually problem solve and get there? Or let's gather stories from people and find out what, what explanations they are making for why things are working or not working here. So story isn't separate from logic or science as much as religion. Lo uh, story is logos. If it, makes, if it has a beginning and middle and end, if it has a cause and effect, we're happy with it. If it doesn't, we don't like it. Second is ethos. We're also okay with that in business. And often in business when we're working with speakers and they're trying to come up with stories, it's based in this ethos or what is the moral that I want to get across to people or what do we care about or what are our values. And you can have as many values as you want on a chart, but it's the examples in organizations of someone did this and this happened, or we reward this, or here's how we're going to go out of our way to serve this value that matter. So stories illustrate your values in a way that just articulating them don't. And finally, pathos. This is the one where historically we have been a little bit uncomfortable in business, right? That we've sort of separated our humanity and our emotions and our feelings from our work and our professional lives. And gloriously, increasingly, we're realizing that being human is not separate from being a professional. And being passionate and emotional is a wonderful thing to bring to work. And having a story is a way that makes us smarter and better and more committed to what we're doing. So for all of these very serious Aristotelian reasons that allow you to have more influence and more impact and more motivation and get better results, story is a great tool. But the bottom line is this. There are just a couple of things that you need to ask yourself to be able to use story in an effective way, whether it's in business or anywhere else. And here they are. Remember that I'm co-creating it. So I'm going to tell you what I care about, and I'm going to try to connect it to what you care about. The questions I ask on my end are, what is the moral of my story? What is it I want you to know? And what do I want you to do differently after you've heard me talk? How do I want you to be changed? And then the questions that you ask about your audience are, what do they care about? And what's in it for them to do what I want? Once you've asked those questions, you've focused your story, you pick it, and you will rule the world. Thank you. <laughs>